All right, let's let's talk about the PGA Championship. We've got a few of our players that uh, have been invited, extended an invite. Obviously, Dean Burmester, Taylor, David Pouge, David uh, Pouge. Reed, yes, Patrick Reed, Adrian Moronk, hey, Lucas yeah. Herbert, uh, all in the PGA Championship. I am. Right. Uh, this is fascinating. We talked about it with Jeff. Actually, how did Adrian Moronk not get into the PGA being player of the year on the DP World Tour? Um, anyways, other golfers uh, already there. Obviously, a defending champion, Brooks Kepka. Phil Mickelson, John Rahm, Martin Keimer is in there, DJ Bryson, Cam Smith, Andy Ogletree got in through the International Series. Um, yeah. Terrell Hatton, Joaquin Neiman also in there, got an invite early on this year. Uh, we have a few players playing in it, which is awesome. I can't 16. wait. And 16, exactly. 16, now, yeah. speaking of which, we ask all of our... Uh, I hate it says here that fans. I don't know if we classify them as fans. Our, our listeners, we ask our listeners who had uh who has a better chance at the PJ Championship, John Rahm or Brooks Kepka. Obviously, Brooks just won in Singapore. Um, John Rahm, he has not finished outside the top 10 in the last seven events on live. Obviously, Masters Champ, you know, he's top five in the world. So I want your take on this first, Jerry, before I go into what our listeners slash fans um, responses were. In the PGA Championship, based on our results in Singapore, we have number one winner, Brooks Kepka. We have number two, tied number two, Cam Smith. We have number four, Taylor Gooch. He finished fourth. Terrell Hatton finished fifth. Um, Dustin Johnson finished seventh. Joaquin uh, Neiman finished seventh. Adrian Moronk finished 10th. And John Rahm finished 10th. We have a guy who finished first. You asked me a question between a guy who finished first, his best finish of the year, and a guy who finished 10th, his worst finish of the year. To me, it's plain as day that the hardest guy in the world, according to Jeff Bullock, to ever rank, Brooks Kepka, would be the favorite based on that. But John Rahm is the guy I think is going to win. John Rahm joined Liv. It, was, it rocked the entire universe. He went into the Masters as a defending champion with validation to prove. And, and he was playing pretty well, not great, but pretty well going in. But that is a huge burden to carry. He doesn't have that anymore. He doesn't have to do that anymore. Um, he's going in as one of 16 uh, guys who represent Liv, but one of, one of a very uh, limited number of people with multiple majors on their resume in the, in the prime of their career. Uh, and he is an alpha male who wants it so badly. The problem is, my you know, with my prediction that Rom's going to win or Rom's going to be the highest finishing live player, is that Brooks Kepka is the exact same fucking guy. <laughs> he wants to be <laughs> king of the hill. He does it quietly, but he wants to be the guy that everybody else has to say, uh, hey, you know, has to say, sir. Put it that way. Well, you can't pick both, Jerry. That's not how this works. So I'm going to go with. I I'm pick gonna go, Rom. I'm, Eastern. I'm going to go with Brooks. I'm going to go with Brooks just because of the way I've seen him play in the last uh, week. I got to watch two out of three rounds. And uh, man, is he looking solid. He is looking real solid. He's driving the ball phenomenal, which is kind of what you need to do at the PGA. But he's also finding a little confidence with the flat stick. So as we know, once you have that door open for Brooks in that sense you know when he, if he finds momentum if he finds a little confidence which is all he needs he's going to be a threat I think so yeah. you're going to go with John I'm going to go with Brooks let's what uh, let's see what our fans and overwhelming believe in Brooks um Dan Wilson on the X Brooks wins in a playoff that goes for 10 holes that'd be awesome <laughs> that would be, be awesome. awesome oh yeah um I don't know how to uh, this add RT Chi 58 John just doesn't seem to be firing on all cylinders right now, but golf is fickle and could change. Brooks looks dialed. So I agree. Uh, Brian, I don't know how to say his last name, Patak. <laughs> yeah, Patak. On the axis, uh, per Vegas odds, they're both plus 1,400. I would take BK. Yeah. 
Um, and JD White 96 on X. Brooks is playing better right now, but you can never count out Rom with as much talent as he has. Yeah. So, um, look, I mean, you're it's like you're picking two of probably some of the best players, if not the best players in the world right now. So it is tough to pick one. But yes, over overwhelming love for Brooks on the X. Thank you so much for uh chiming in and interacting with us. Appreciate you.